Hey, babe, you want to check this out? What? Uh, it's an, uh, it's an RV. You're still looking at RVs? I feel we already talked about this. Keith has been talking nonstop about buying an RV lately for tailgating and road trips. There's much more responsible ways to be spending our money right now. We just got off a of vacation and we need to replenish our funds. And we said we were gonna start working on the next investment. I thought you wanted to start saving. Just look at it, just look at Keith, it. Keith, come on, I don't even wanna see it right now. Why are we wasting our time? We have other things to focus on. I need to get back to work. So I actually was going in there to tell her that I actually bought the RV, but I, I just was too chicken to even tell her. <sighs> I guess this is going to be a rough week. I'm really nervous to tell her. Hey, baby, I got a surprise for you. You have to get out the car. I don't trust you. You don't trust me? No. No? You don't like my surprises? I have no idea what this surprise is, but usually when Keith has a surprise, it ends up being a headache. Stop right there. Look, baby! You did not buy that damn RV. This is great. No, it isn't. Take a walk through. This is the bedroom area right here. Uh, if you look right here, there's a shower. Got the toilet there. Kids, this thing is gross. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on, we're taking it for a spin. Why are you not excited? Keith, we already talked about this. What are we going to do with the RV? Where are you going to park it? How much did you pay for it? Not excited? No. I'm not excited. No. I think I could still win her over. All right. That's it. Let's take the sports I cannot believe Keith still went ahead and bought this RV after I specifically asked him not to. Can we get out of this thing now? <sighs> okay. At this point, I don't even care how he gets home right now. I don't want to look at it. Man, it's just been a long day. I actually showed Christine the RV today and she got so mad that uh, she left me at work. <sighs> I just wanna kinda know where her vibe is. You okay? Yeah, yeah. How'd I get home? I got a taxi and you left me at work. You didn't wanna drive your RV home? Keith made a major financial decision without even consulting me. The fact that I'm sorry aren't the first words out of his mouth right now is just making things even worse. Come on, let's try to resolve this. Well, I'm upset because we discussed this and you still went ahead and made this decision without consulting me. I didn't really think that it will harm you. I mean, it's just the RV. Are you serious right now? Even if you thought it would be good for us, that's a decision I thought we were gonna make together. The fact that he doesn't realize he even did anything wrong, that's a problem. I don't think it's really fair to me for you to go ahead and make this decision without me. I thought we were a, a team and that it was even more important because we're married. So what's the point of agreeing on anything if you're still gonna go and do your own thing anyway? This doesn't feel like a partnership. Well, I mean, I'm an adult. I can make adult decisions. I think you're missing the point. All I heard was a bunch of I statements and not we, or what we want, or what we need, or what we discussed for us, because we make decisions together. We didn't decide on that for us. We? You did. I did. OK, so you can sleep with yourself on the couch. No. It's a new day and age, girl. 50-50, get your ass on the couch. Get out of my face. Man, 